everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we will be doing my November wrap up. Let's get going. So I'm sorry that this is so late. As I said in my December TBR, I, the filming has been difficult, but better late than never, right? So let's get going. First book was A Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha again, and the following way, who has been captured and the stakes continue to rise. Her actions affect other lives, and she must adjust to being a bold gang spawn once again. Wen joins the book, and, we, and she has her own POV chapters, and she wages war and seeks to find and rescue Wen. So, I, I never read this book. It was a letdown. I actually expected better, oh, since it's the finale, but it wasn't, so I um, think the book was boring. I didn't really care about the characters. I don't so wish someone had died. I'm sorry, but especially to the final battle of the king, that was also a letdown. I felt it was too easy, so that had really bothered me throughout the book, and I just didn't like it at all. And also with Katai, I kind of felt he was useless in that council that Ren had made. I think there was a council since he has no skills of being useful in that council, so I don't know why he was doing that. But um, yeah, so I didn't, I didn't really like this book at all. It was just a letter. It was so sad, and I didn't like it. Next book was Fathom Heart by Kelly Kalag, which we are following a teen who is in a complicated love triangle between her boyfriend and her high school boyfriend and and the 18 year old musical progeny who lives in her Victorian house. So I think I love it. I just didn't really like it. I think I gave it three stars, so it wasn't too bad. I did like the references of the original movie, like the chandelier, the lake, and the roses definitely. And the ending just reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, kind of. I don't know, it just gave me that feeling. But um, yeah, so. There were things that kind of confused me, like the curse. I didn't really understand about the curse. And there's a POV about Eric. I really thought we were talking about two people, but we actually aren't. So that kind of confuses me, and I wish it was kind of explained properly. Uh, the life triangle, Steph, Lucas, and Eric, I didn't really care because they had no chemistry together, so that was also a letdown, because that's like the main thing as well, but um, yeah, and also I really, sometimes I really like the piano scene, I did like the piano scene as well, and I thought the book was just a bit too long, it could be cut down by like 50 chapters at least, so, but yeah. Next book was Wild Sea Witch by Martin Dumas. And then following her study, who discovers that she is a witch and she is attending a magical school. She wants to learn magic to save her parents' marriage and grow her YouTube channel, but she struggles to fit in with the girls who are already witches. She also struggles on how to do the class etiquette. And, and that's like a lot of the girls were actually mean to her, so that's what I didn't even like, but oh well. <laughs> I'm sorry. So. I, Celeste, I think that's her name, but she was annoying. I just so annoying. I just didn't like her at all. And Sunny is also self-centered as well, but she does eventually grow throughout the book, which is nice. But, um, yeah. finds out that marriage cannot be fixed, even with magic. So, uh, so this was an interesting book. I thought it was cute. Um, but I just didn't, we had more of the magical school. I felt it was just too short to be crammed into one book. It was just so much room to be explored in all honesty. I didn't really agree with Hasani and the way how she handled things. It could have been handled a lot better, but it wasn't. So that's kind of gave me an off. And the ending, I'm not sure if there's going to be a sequel because the, it said it's the first book. So I'm not sure how it is, but I don't see, I see, don't see how the sequel is going to come out, especially with the way how it ended. And yeah, so I've been kind of 
So I'm not sure and, uh, and like with Tassani's YouTube, how does she have the time to edit and film with all her school thing the way how it is. So there's there's like a social hour and the only way I can think of she edits in that one day and then the next day she films and repeat. That is like the only way I can see. But anyways, nothing at all. Next one was the Wonderland Trials by Sarah Ella and it's an Alice and Rita. And we're following Alice who wants to believe in the impossible but thinks that what she can see is the only reality there is. Her dreams and nightmares feel so real but they are impossible and she doesn't believe in impossible. Not until she meets the session. I wanted to love it but it was a letdown that was just, I didn't really like it, it was boring. And I feel like there were some things that were kind of repetitive, but not too much. And I had some questions, like, about the way how the stimulate the trial was explained. How, what happened to their real bodies? Did their real bodies sleep while they were in the trials? So, so like, cause the trial to me, it sounded like a stimulation, but I could be wrong. And, but, so I wish that was explained more. And I really like Pilla. She seemed interesting enough, so I hope we get more answers in the second book. There is a second book, Seven Ella just announced Looking Glass Through Illusions, something like that. But, uh, and also Alice Pass also seems really interesting, so I hope we also have more about Alice as well. Because otherwise it would just feel flat and I will stop caring about her. And the chemistry between Alice and Cheshire, don't like it, don't care, let's keep going. So, yeah, it was just a bummer that I didn't really like it, and I'm not sure if I will pick up the sequel. And my final book was I Wake and Magic by Sasha Lawrence, and we're following Daniel Liz, who discovers a magical black book, and that makes them witches. They try to cast a spell to change their lives, but it goes wrong, causing Johnny, Liz's boyfriend, to go missing. The girls' friendship falls apart until they realize they need to work together, with the help of Dad's new friend, Alexa, in order to bring Johnny back. Again, this was a letdown. It was just too boring, too repetitive. I could not care at all what was happening. I thought Liz was just being white too toxic to Dan. So I, I don't know why Dan keeps going back to her, it's just so annoying. I just wanted her to leave Liz alone because she, Liz was so toxic. And also, the only exciting part was towards the end, and then that's about it. I only liked Alexa, and she has a cute cat named Domino. That, she, that was a cute cat. And so And I also wish we had more about Lamiel. I thought she was an interesting character. But otherwise, I just kind of care about the book in all honesty, just because they were just so boring. I almost wanted to DNF it, like it was that bad, but I kept pushing it. So like, no, it's gonna get better. It never got better, <laughs> so I'm actually sad about it. This is Feature Manor. I forgot one book, and that was Reincarnated as a Sword. Reincarnated as a Sword by Yu Tanaka. So I did also read this in November. I thought it was a cute story. Uh, we are following Fran, who has been a slave for four years, but then things go bad when they go to the city. They get attacked by monsters in the forest. And because of that, Fran manages to escape. However, she finds a talking sword that helps to defeat the monsters. And the adventure starts there. So I thought it was a cute story. I really like Fran. In the Avengers, I don't really like the sword yet. I just think the sword is a bit annoying, as always. Annoying and talkative and just kind of a bit too dramatic. So, but anyways, I really do like this manga. So I know when to get the second book. And that'll be it. Also, I do have exciting news. My sequel for Fire Wave, which is called Fire Burns, you can pre-order it right now. It will come out on December 21st, and I'm so excited. It will be available on Kobo for now. I do have to figure it out about Amazon, so I need to figure that out. <laughs> but I'm so excited about it. it. finally has a date. I kept changing the release date. It was annoying. 
but now they finally have it set. So, I'm excited then. <laughs> but yeah, so also let me know how your November ones went. Mine was kind of horrible, as you can see. But let me know how it went, and please like, comment, and subscribe so that you won't miss every time I post. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!